Good morning, Bumblebeezies. Happy Sunday. It is 8.39 right now. We just got home from Winco, and I woke up sick, you guys. So yesterday, I was kind of like a little bit sick, but then when we went to my friend's house, they have a cat, and I'm allergic to cats, and it... Like, I thought I was just getting, like, well, my allergies got really bad while we were there. But then today, for some reason, I woke up, like, more sick than I was yesterday. Because yesterday, I really wasn't even that sick. So, actually, it was probably just developing. I don't know. But, yeah, I have, like, a cough and stuffy nose. So, yeah, I'm sick, you guys. We did go grocery shopping, and I got a bunch of stuff for my low-carb diet. I'm going to just, like, ease into keto. I'm going to do, like, just low-carb for now. So I got a bunch of stuff for that. And I didn't get any sugar-free creamer yet because I still have tons of creamer, you guys. I still have five bottles of my creamer, my regular creamers. So I need to finish all of that before I can get the sugar-free stuff. So yeah, let's go make some coffee. My sister made us some cinnamon rolls. She made these herself from scratch. So we have that and then we just have um, cream cheese frosting that she brought over. So Vanessa's gonna warm it up for her breakfast and then she's gonna make one for AJ as well. For today's coffee mug, got it? Um, how come these are all out of order? I feel like I just use the same mugs. I feel like I use the same mugs over and over again. I'm gonna use this one, my Universal Studios Starbucks mug. It is definitely one of my favorite mugs. And then for today's creamer, it's gonna be the frosted sugar cookie. AJ and I are at Costco. We're gonna pick up some pizza because him and his friends are gonna do a mukbang, Costco pizza mukbang. We actually already called ahead to order the pizza. But then you just come over here to the kiosk and then you just pay for it here. Did it give you a receipt? Right here. And then we'll pick it up over there. So I'm working on dinner. Oh, it's many, many hours later, by the way. I ended up taking a nap um, for like two hours because I was just so tired. So anyways, I'm working on dinner right now. I'm going to be making some shrimp, some boiling crab. So I have garlic here. I have some butter. It's not that much shrimp this time. I just have these like really big shrimps here. I'm defrosting them in cold water. Um, and then I have all of my seasonings ready to go right here. I also really want pho, so I'm gonna have Ariel go pick up my soup that I ordered. I just called it in for pickup, so he's gonna go and pick that up. He is here today visiting, so um, yeah, he's gonna go get my soup because I really want soup. Hopefully that'll help me feel a lot better. Ariel just got back with my pho. This one came with um, tendon, brisket, tripe, fatty something I, I don't remember but here's all of the stuff and then here is the broth shrimp is still waiting to go in the water is almost boiling we're just waiting for that to boil and then i have my sauce simmering here here's my soup you guys i'm so excited to eat this and then i'm gonna add hoisin and sriracha you guys check out this shrimp it looks so good I feel like the quality of this video is going to be kind of all over the place because I was actually filming on a different camera earlier. Uh, a couple of days ago, I did get a new camera. I got the Canon G7X Mark III. I kept forgetting to tell you guys, but like I wasn't keeping a secret. I just forgot to tell you guys. So yeah, I got that new camera and I absolutely hated it, you guys. I didn't like it. I don't know why it's so different than the older versions, but the color was like so off. It was so warm and even when I changed the settings I would change like the the white balance or I would change like the um, the tone of the the picture it's still like it wasn't I just didn't like it and then also I felt like I shouldn't have to do that I feel like this is a point-and-shoot camera right so I, I felt like I should just be able to turn the camera on and it just should it should be good like automatically right I shouldn't have to adjust the settings every time I shouldn't have to adjust the settings to whatever lighting situation I'm in that's basically what I'm saying so I went and returned the camera and then I just got the Canon G7X Mark II which is the same camera that I was filming on previously so I have that camera here but see this one it's so beat up um, and then like this part the bottom where you screw on the tripod 
it's broken inside it's not like completely stripped but I can see inside it's not like one of the little things inside is broken so I can't put my tripod on that's the whole reason why I wanted to get a new camera like that camera it still works so I can still use it so I'm gonna keep that as my backup camera but yeah I'm so happy I just decided to get the mark II again because I like how it works it looks good and I don't know if you guys can tell but the quality is like I think a lot better than the other camera the mark III I feel like is kind of like trying to be a DSLR it has so many different setting options it was trying to be so complicated and I just didn't like it so yeah I'm back to using the mark II all right everyone so it's that time again it is everyone's favorite time it is time to go to sleep thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys tomorrow good night